Have you ever wanted to start your own business? Have you seen other people online successfully doing so? Maybe you've had a stab at it, but you weren't sure what to sell, how to sell it, how do you get customers? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you a very simple, proven five-step process that anyone, even you, can use to launch your very own business on the internet. So let's get straight into it. Step one, we need something to sell. And we must start here because the other steps will take us in a very different direction dependent on what product and what industry and what style of product it is that we're looking to sell. Now, of course, you've probably seen there's loads of different options. Maybe you've seen opportunities to join network marketing companies. Maybe you've seen affiliate marketing opportunities. Maybe you've thought about selling low ticket physical products or maybe high ticket physical products. There's an abundance of options. You know what I suggest? Packaging up your knowledge into a digital course that you can sell on the internet. The knowledge economy is now worth over half a trillion dollars per year. That means every year people like you and me are paying somebody else, not for something tangible that we can hold, but an, an exchange of knowledge. Half a trillion dollars. You can get a piece of that. You might be watching this video right now and say, well, John, I don't have knowledge. I'm not an expert. I don't have qualifications. I don't have certifications. Guess what? You don't need to. The old school way of selling your knowledge was focused on those things, right? A personal trainer. You would only choose somebody if they had the personal training qualifications. And it was the same for anyone else that you were entertaining, investing some money into learning from. But nowadays, you only need to be one step ahead of someone else for them to be willing to hand back some money to learn from you, right? Maybe you've been in a situation where you're having a coffee with a friend and they're asking you for some relationship advice. Or maybe you've been interacting with some friends of yours that have a dog that's out of control and they're asking you for dog training tips. Maybe you're not certified as a personal trainer, but you have figured out a nutrition plan and a workout plan that has worked for you and someone would like to look how you look and they will be willing to pay you to learn that stuff. The opportunities are endless. You just have to ask yourself, what is it that you know a little bit more than those around you? That is your starting point to package up your own online training program. And the beauty of this is not only the fact that the barrier to entry is very low because anyone can launch an online program, it's such a profitable business because there's no hard costs involved because you're selling a digital asset and it's really quick and easy to set one of these up so you can be testing stuff fast to see if it's working or if it's not and double down on the stuff that is working to grow a substantial business pretty quickly. So now we move on to the second step. We need to package up your online course. Now it's only going to consist of a series of videos and you could set up a camera just like I am right now and you could talk to camera and teach people that way. Maybe you want to do some videos out and about showing how to do something or perhaps what you're teaching is more online based and you could just uh, download a screen recording software and you could record your screen doing some tutorials. That's the easiest way to sell a digital program is a series of recorded videos. The question then becomes, in fact, there's two questions. The first is, well, how much do we teach? And secondly, in what order do we teach things? Now, my top tip for you is I would find friends and family around you that have perhaps been asking you about this particular topic or would display an interest in learning more about it and I would use them as a case study. I would say to them, hey, I'm going to be launching an online program. I would like to help a couple of people for free and in so doing, I would learn in what order you need to learn these things and I can also use your success story at the end once you get the result from learning what I teach you. And then the process is very simple. You meet with that friend over the course of the next few weeks, you sit down with them one-on-one, -on -one, you ask them questions to determine their knowledge level on the subject. You paint a picture of all the stuff that you want to teach them. You talk together about the order in which it would be best received by them. And then of course, over those weeks, you actually teach them that process and you're taking notes all the way along. What is landing with them? What's making sense? What was a bit confusing? What did you have to explain a slightly different way? Make a note on how you explained something that landed better with your prospect so that when you go to create your real course content, it will be the best it can be because you've learned from experience with a couple of your friends. And now, once you've recorded your videos, you can upload them to a platform like Teachable or Thinkific and there you'll be able to host your course and take payments from people who are interested 
in purchasing access. That moves us on to step three. We now need a way to sell the program. The way we're gonna sell a program is not by just giving people our link to purchase, we need to warm people up. We need to educate them a little bit on why they would want your program. So we're not gonna be just building a website. A website is not very good as a sales process. A website's good for brand presence and positioning you, but we wanna sell a course. So we need to have a sales funnel. Now, for those of you that don't know, very quickly, a sales funnel is nothing more than a series of pages that leads someone from being a complete stranger to a ready to buy hot prospect. And we do that by not overloading them with too much information in one go, like a website would do, but instead we hand select a small amount of information that goes on the first page. If they're interested, they move through to the next page, perhaps by opting in and joining your email list, where now you could follow up with that prospect via email multiple times into the future. On the next page would give even more information. We would endeavor to provide some value to that prospect and then the law of reciprocity kicks in, which dictates that the more you give to someone, the more likely they are to want to give back. And in this scenario, it would be the more we give in the way of value in the sales funnel, the more likely we are that these prospects are gonna to wanna to buy our course out the other end. Now there is no shortage of different styles of sales funnels and it can be overwhelming trying to learn which one to use. And so I wanna share with you what I have had the most success with. I've made millions of dollars online selling my own educational courses and I've had the most success with a webinar funnel. So if you're taking notes, write that down, webinar funnel, do some research on that topic. The reason why I love webinar funnels is quite frankly, many, many reasons, but I'll give you two. Number one, we have a captive audience. Social media is very noisy at the moment, very distracting at the moment. If we get someone registered for a webinar presentation, when they show up, you have a captive audience, you have their captive attention. And the second reason is because a webinar is the best sales funnel to make sure you're providing value before you make an offer. They have to have received this value from you in your webinar presentation before they even have a chance to buy your program. Lots of other sales funnels don't have that luxury, and so you're trying to sell to people that are not ready to be sold to. If you'd like to learn more about webinars specifically, I've got another video for you. You can click on up here where I break down the seven things you need to have a high converting, profitable webinar funnel based on a $10 million webinar case study. Now we move on to the fourth thing that you need and that is ultimately eyeballs. We need people to see our sales funnel so they can go through it and ultimately end up at a place where they're purchasing our online course. Now much like sales funnels there's no shortage of traffic strategies that you could learn about to try to get those eyeballs on your sales funnel and so I'm going to endeavor to untangle that mess for you just a little bit. There are two things that you need to really understand. There's organic free traffic and there's paid traffic, and there's pros and cons to both. Free traffic or organic traffic is, as the name suggests, not costing you anything other than your time. You're gonna be on social media, producing content, starting a YouTube channel like this, starting a Twitter account, jumping onto Facebook or Instagram, posting regular content in an attempt to build up an audience of people that you think would like your topic who will eventually purchase your course. Now, if you are starting this business on a shoestring budget, then this might be where you need to start because finances don't allow for you to go over to paid traffic. But if you are in a position to spend a bit of money to get traffic, then paid advertising is absolutely the best place to start. This would be running a YouTube ad campaign or a Facebook ad campaign or an Instagram ad campaign and the benefit here, although we're spending our money, we're getting instant traffic. There's no waiting around for a YouTube channel to take off or fingers crossed hoping somebody clicks that link of yours. If we're willing and able to spend a bit of money to acquire that traffic, then we can create a tailor-made advertising campaign that we put in front of only the people that we think actually want our program and we can get instant traffic into our funnel and in so doing, generate instant sales. Best place to start with that, my recommendation, YouTube advertising. It's absolutely incredible. The targeting is really specific. You can get in front of your most ideal customers and ultimately we found them to be way more profitable than Facebook ads, Instagram ads, or any other platform. If you'd like to learn more about YouTube ads, then I've got another video up here that you can click on where I'll walk you through setting up a YouTube ad campaign 
A to Z. And then finally, step number five, and it might sound cliche, but improving and tweaking your course over time to make it better and better. Now this is not just to feel good about what you've got, this is to increase conversions, because the more you improve your program, the more it will be desirable for people to purchase, the better it is, the more referrals you will gain from your customers recommending your program to other people, and the better your program becomes, the more you can start to charge. If you're brand new, you might only start charging a couple of hundred dollars for your online course, but guess what? I've helped a boatload of people over the course of the last few years to launch and scale their online courses, and over time, with these refinements and improvements to the program, you can actually start to increase your price substantially. I used to have a $500 course and I could not fathom charging more, but just two years later, I was charging $5,000 for the exact same program. It was just that my belief in what was possible increased over that time. And here's a quick bonus tip number six for you. When you are learning this process, you want to learn how to do all of this from one source. It's like a relay race. In a relay race, you've got a few team members and they're all in the same race and one person does the first bit of the race and hands on the baton to the next person. They pick up where the last person left off and so on and so forth until the race is complete. If you learn sales funnels and creating courses and sales strategies from different people, it's like you keep starting the race again and going back to the starting line because the information is so conflicting. Whereas if you learn this all from one source, then everything works so well together that the first bit of marketing that you learn passes on the baton nicely to the next piece and eventually lands at you generating sales online. If you are new to the idea of selling your own online course and you need more inspiration as to what's possible, I've got a page that I've linked in the description box where you'll find countless stories from clients that I've helped go from a brand new idea to landing as much as $40,000 in a single month selling their online course. Also on that page, you'll find an invitation to an online training event I'm running called The Future of webinars where I'll break all of this stuff down for you and so much more, you'll absolutely love it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give me a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in a future video.